Test video for SQ11 mini DB camera. Time 10:29 a.m. A little foggy day. Date. Twenty pixels. That is seven twenty p pixels size. Right now the video mode is running in seven twenty p, and I'm checking for clarity, picture, and sound. It's been fixed on a small metal plate on the dash with a magnetic base. That makes it a little bit stable, right? Uh, I will check the camera extensively today. Sound for video for audio quality. Now I'm going to park my car here, and I will keep it running. Let's see how much it runs. All right. Thank you. I'm going for some tea.
and now we go got the money actually why needed the money this morning so urgent actually I had money but this money I will donate you know, for the tech donation money yes actually there is an under construction tender where I sometimes donate whatever I can with the money ah the sun is coming up the sun is coming up man तू लगे ले तो मुझे तो धुलो लगे लगे उस तक खराब हो जाए। जान में भी ना जाए। ना भी लोग अपना रोशनी दे। रोशनी 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 � Put the fruits in the pudding, so what we'll have to do is see how it performs. Okay, this is a 1080p, uh, 30 frames a second. Uh, it's quite sunny outside, we're we'll testing this. Hello friends, this is Neil. <clears throat> Today I'm reviewing this one. Right? 
focus yeah so it's an sq11 full hd 1080p mini dv camera so this came in this packet made in china the parameters are there see it can record full HD 1920 into 1080 and 1280 720 right it records full HD in 30 fps and 720p in 30 fps <clears throat> the image proportion is 4 is to 3 I mean it can also take photos also that is in 4 is to 3 that is around 5 megapixel mm, the resolution okay uh, it works about it's written 200 milliampere hour battery working time about 100 minutes but actually this works uh, say a little about hour more than a little an hour <clears throat> it supports card TF card the company says is 32 I am using 32 that's okay but it's quite small right I bought it from gear best it costed me something like 580 something I will show you it came with this manual this side Chinese and they said English. It's very simple to work. There are lots of videos about this on the YouTube and the internet. So I think you guys can see. See, there is the charging point as well as the data cable point. It's an 8 pin point. It's not anything you have seen. It's a, a proprietary point. Then the slot for SD card. This is the camera. This six hexagonal shape small dots are the infrared lights. Yes, it can record in pitch dark. And it focuses well also in dark. Okay. There are only two buttons. There is no screen. No Wi-Fi. Only two buttons are there. This button. You switch it on. The blue means. Oh, it's not charged. The blue means it's in 720p. Okay. Doesn't have charge. I'm sorry about that guys but this red and blue blinking means it's not having battery I will tell you see <clears throat> when you press this button that's the power button uh, focus uh, I hope you can see right so this is the power button this is the mode button switch on the power button press a little bit it will light up you will see a blue color LED here which will not blink it will blink then it will be constant then you are in 720p standby mode then if you click on the mode button you can go into two steps short press on the mode button the color will change into blue and red that will be full HD 30 fps video recording standby mode all right and the blue one indicates 720p video recording in uh, standby mode what do i mean by standby mode when you press this button power button the camera from the standby mode goes into recording then again it records for five seconds i uh, sorry five minutes and after that Again, it goes on recording for 5 minutes. 
five minute segment it records until it has the battery lasting or you can go for the dvr mode that means you can plug a power here five volts and it will start recording instantly and goes in loop that means it goes in loop recording old data slowly gets deleted and new data gets recorded that's how it works so this mode button goes into three modes 720p blue light okay then red blue that is 1080p that is in video recording then again you press the mode button a little bit longer then you get the light here will be only red that means now the camera is in picture mode then again when you press this power button one click one photo it will blink the red light will blink once that means it's taken the photo and it will save okay and <clears throat> that's how you get in that mode then if you press this power button a little bit longer but not longer than when it goes to shut down when the camera is in either 720 or 1080p video recording mode it will switch on this lights and in pitch dark this can record the same it's quite a bit of light but uh, i can't see in my eyes invisible to my eyes but in the camera for the camera eyes it's visible so in the camera you will see lights coming from here but uh, to my naked eyes truly i can't see anything coming out from there anyways pressing this mode button a little bit longer say like when you are in 720p you press it twice it will be in 1080p video recording standby mode then press a little bit longer than that that means three times or three seconds uh, not three times three seconds or little bit more it will go into photo recording further pressing it will go into the motion detection mode in that case you keep the camera it will be in standby mode whichever mode it will keep 1080p or 720p if it detects some motion in front of it it will start recording but there is a time delay say like two three seconds five seconds but it records till five minutes after that if no movement is seen it will shut off or stop recording okay the accessories nothing this came in this the camera was there it was here and in this nifty little box cheap stuff what do you expect from 500 something <clears throat> Well, this is a stand. This is a crocodile type clip. It fits right here. See, there are four, one, two, three, four. These indentations, this will just fit right this, like that. It will fit. Okay, now clip it here. Anywhere. I will show you the picture. How I am clipping this in my car windscreen. Okay. Before that, I was trying this, like this, yeah, I got some accessories for this, <clears throat> that is, I bought this memory card, sand disk, high speed, 32 GB, right, this is the card, as you can see, right. I will insert the card. Nothing, no drama. Just push it in. So 
this one. Oh, I forgot to show the charger cable. The charger. This is the cable. You plug it here. Right? And after that, this goes into your PC. If you put this in a power socket or say your power, power bank, it goes into DVR mode and it starts recording continuously <laughs> because it's getting the power so for a car if you put fix it somewhere in your car and plug it in whenever you switch on your car it gets power and starts recording right this it goes right to this is called rc cable it goes right into your monitor old monitor or tv or small monitors you have in the cars like the re the rear view uh, monitors, you have get some extra. So if you fit, plug this there, this video feed will be there on that monitor. But you guys will say, say this can work as an action camera, but it doesn't have gyro, it doesn't have image stabilization, right? It doesn't have that. No screen also. Well, you can carry a screen, small screen in your car, fit it there in that screen. Your screens are cheap. Then you will get a video. But still, it's not like that. No Wi Fi also. And it's not waterproof. Then, what to do? So that's why I bought this. Well, the shape, the thing. Looks interesting, right? Yes, it's a waterproof casing for this, but it's not for this. Actually, this thing is made from made by company name. And you guys can see, right? Uh, Qlema. Qlema. This is model SQ11. There is a new model, SQ12 comes with this as an extra does this fit this yes it does only thing is that the sq12 a little bit bigger than that this is actually a cube 2.2 by 2.2 by 2.2 in centimeters and the sq12 is 2.2 by 2.2 by 2.25 so you know there is a little bit gap so that's why I have put it there. That's foam, soft foam, and it works well. I will show you. <clears throat> See, I have checked it myself. Well, what I do, I take this pins out. Out, oh, come out, come out, man. Then look at the buttons, right? So it goes in like this. Can you guys see? Yeah. Now close it. Ta da! These are the standard clips you get with this one. One like this magnetic base. This looks similar, right? Then this is the arm or helmet mounting. There are indentations here. You can clip it here. Here. And helmet mounting. Front mounting. And you also get a crocodile type clip. For this also. Right? Or I can use my group. Uh, my this this also works. All these mountings from your GoPro, you know this mounting, right? All these group of mountains are exact match. So no problem. 
I can mount this on my motorcycle. That means on my bike. And it will be a lifted camera. But here it will work only for 50 minutes in 1080p and say 100 me about 100 minutes in 720p video recording and the audio will be less so here also the button works see can you see the light right and this time it's switching on so I'm, see i'm going to this mode is 1080p there's bluish tints and reddish pins that means in now it starts records, starts recording, stopping recording, the mode a little bit longer. Now it can take photos, taking photos, taking photos, switching off, low power. Okay friends. I have tried to give you a little bit idea that how I am willing to use this underwater. Yes, same thing, 30 meters underwater. Trust me guys, I have checked this. It works fine. No vibrations, nothing. It works fine. So buy this separately. The casing for QLMI SQ12 and buy this by SQ12 also or SQ11 whichever you like and you get a very cheap and small camera and you will see the video feed how I have used this right hmm.